Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 23, Tweak Tool. Alright, you can find the Tweak Tool, the third one down in the toolbox. Yeah, the quick command to get to that is W. And the cursor will look similar to this. So one thing you need to understand about the tweak tool before you can um, manipulate things with it is you need to make sure that you have selected um, all the objects that you want to move or adjust. Uh, for this exercise I'll be using control A to select all because I'm going to be adjusting all of these objects. Alright, so let's press W and I have my tweak tool. Now the first uh, slider on the tweak tool is for the width, so it's at 18 now. Let's adjust it up to about 50. You notice that the circle gets bigger. That are the objects that it's going to sort of grab or adjust when it does that. Uh, the force, the force is how strong that it pushes or pulls or changes objects. So if you want to just sort of adjust something small or, or do it in sort of smaller increments, you can leave the force low, and um, that's what it'll do. Now. This next button is if you're using a drawing stylus or a um, drawing pad or some other object or input device that has pressure uh, sensitive um, response. I'm just using a regular mouse, so I'll keep this off. All right, the modes, these are all the different modes. These are basically how the tweak tool is going to work or what it's going to do. So we'll select the first one is move objects in any direction. I'll leave the width about 30 and the force at 20. So what's going to happen is I'm going to left click and drag. Oh, let's go back. If you ever if that happens and you the tweak tool isn't doing anything, you want to double check that you do have the object selected. I'm going to press control A to select all. I'm going to press W to go back to the tweak tool. Now I'm going to left click and drag and notice that they'll start falling down because I'm basically pushing these away. Alright, so control Z to bring it back to the way it was. Alright, the next function is going to move objects towards cursor. So let's adjust the width a little bit bigger and I will adjust the force up a little bit. So we put it right in the center and I'm going to left click and just slightly drag the mouse. It will su sort of suck everything into the center of that cursor. Alright, control Z to undo that. This next one is move object in random direction. So the random direction is good if you're doing something like stars or you want to put leaves blowing in the wind, something that's very random. This sort of helps make things more random. I'm going to left click and hold and there you go, everything's getting jumbled up. Control Z. The next one is to make objects smaller. So I'm going to put the cursor around the middle, left click hold and drag a little bit. And you can start to see that the center the center um shapes are becoming a little bit smaller. Control Z. Let's bring the force up a little bit more and try it again. Let's go up to about 70. And it's doing the same but I'm having to drag and click a little bit less. Now control Z to go back. The next one is rotate objects. So let's bring the force down just a touch. I'm going to left click and hold and drag a little bit and you can see that the objects are rotating. Control Z. The next one is duplicate objects. So let's bring the force down and the width down. I'm going to left click and hold. And when you do that, you can sort of see that this Let's go ahead and press Z. Let's zoom in right here. Deselect. And it gets a little rough around the edges on some of these. It, that's just showing you it's that there is a bunch stacked up here. So we'll go press 4 to zoom back out. Press 5 to get the full screen. Control Z. Shift Control Z. Alright. So we're back. I'm going to Control A to select all and then I will press W to bring the tweak tool back up. The next one is push parts of a path in any direction. Okay, so these first 
t modes that you had on the tweak tool adjusted the objects basically taking your object and moving it around these next few are going to actually change the shape of the object it will actually adjust the paths of the object all right so let's go right here and you'll notice that it's moving the paths down now so this will warp things this will make things like um, it, it will actually change the shape control Z alright this next one here is a shrink so we're just going to left click and drag a little and you'll notice that it is shrinking away from the tweak tool control Z the next is attract parts along path left click and you can sort of see that they're sliding towards the center or the cursor in general control Z and next roughen parts along path so let's go ahead and select this object right here let's press 4 to bring it all in and tweak tool And what it's going to do is it's going to jitter the paths. So if there was lots of um, if there was lots of nodes along these paths, it will just move them around in random directions to sort of make it rough. Control Z. I'm going to press five. All right, these next three, these adjust the color. So, Control A, W for the tweak tool. The first one is going to um, paint the tool with select a color. So as you start moving in, let's ch bring up the force just a little bit. You can see how it's changing the color of things. Now this is a really powerful tool and interesting because it's a quick way to make some sort of quasi gradients. I mean if I wanted to do something like this I would have to draw these out. I would have to um, convert into paths. Um, unite the objects and then put a gradient over the whole thing. And this is allowing me to do that um, with uh, getting a similar effect without having to do all that. And then I can still, at, in the end, manipulate any of these objects one at a time. All right. Select everything. W for the tweak tool. The next one is jitter the colors. Now, the jittery colors is going to take the color that already exists there and just sort of adjust the sliders if you will um, up and down to change some of the um, some of the properties what's actually being adjusted is in the channels so when you're using any of these three you can adjust the hue the saturation um, the lightness or the opacity and if you don't want one of those adjusted you can always just unselect it and it won't adjust that control Z Alright, and finally, blur selection, which is another really powerful and handy tool on this tweak because it's a simple way to blur several objects at one time. And there you go. And that does it for the tweak tool. Please join us for Inkscape tutorial number 24, Spray. Thanks for watching.